Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about a God opportunity versus a good opportunity. I'm going to be talking about the difference and why it's best to choose the God opportunity. Okay, so one, okay, there's no specific order I'm going in. I'm kind of just flowing by the spirit right now. But so a good opportunity, you may take an opportunity, but it's not what God wanted you to do. It's not the opportunity that God wanted you to take. It may be good short term, it may have some benefits, but when you choose the God opportunity, if you choose the God opportunity, you're going to be glad that you didn't choose the opportunity that always looked best. Remember, because the God opportunity might not seem so pleasing as the good opportunity. Because you are supposed to trust God. You're supposed to acknowledge Him in all of your ways. You're supposed to pray about it. So even if you're like, well, God, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't seem best for me. Remember, we do not know best. God does. He knows what's going to be best for us in the long term. God knows us better than we know ourselves. We should not lean on our own understanding. That's what Proverbs said. We should not lean on our own understanding because we do not know we our hearts are foolish and they're deceitful that's why and so the good opportunity it may seem good short term it may seem good even long term but the god opportunity is the one god wanted you to have it's the one he wanted you to pray about and really trust him on don't take an opportunity just because it always looks good remember we're supposed to acknowledge god in all of our ways there's a right there's a way that seems right to a man, but it leads to destruction. And that's what the Bible says. That's scary. That, that really just shows that we cannot trust our own hearts and we should really acknowledge God in all of our ways when it comes to an opportunity that comes in your life, when it comes to any, anything in your life, any big decision, any small decision, we are supposed to put God first and we're supposed to acknowledge Him and be like, God, what do you want for my life? Every little detail. He cares about who you date. He cares about you know, what house you buy. He cares, he cares about what school you go to. He cares about every detail about your life. So it's so important to acknowledge him and don't just look at the opportunities and the decisions that look best in that moment, but pray and acknowledge him and pick the God opportunity, the God moment, and just trust him and remember that not everything that's beneficial for you is going to look great on the outside. It's just like, chocolate that might be a little more appealing to some people than fruit but we know that fruit in the long term especially is going to be way more beneficial for us than if we ate chocolate if we ate chocolate every day like regular milk chocolate every day we're gonna have either some health issues <laughs> we're gonna be fat something but if we ate you know an apple a day some fruit you know anything that's gonna have a way better effect than the chocolate. The chocolate is a good opportunity. It looks pleasing. It looks good. It's good when we eat it, but in the long term, we're, go we're gonna feel disgusting. We're gonna be, you know, we, we enjoy it in the moment, but in the long term, it's not as good as the fruit. So if you ate strawberries and you ate pears and peaches and pineapples, you're gonna have a long-term effect you're gonna feel better about yourself you know your body you're gonna be more active you're gonna feel more healthy that's the God opportunity just because something doesn't seem as pleasing just because you might not want the strawberries over the chocolate trust it but with the God opportunity you will be so glad that you chose it and guys so just acknowledge God in all your ways and lean not on your own understanding that's in Proverbs Acknowledge God in all your ways, and remember that our ways are not His ways. Our thoughts are not His thoughts. They're much higher. We do not think like Him. We do not act like Him. He is perfect and holy, so we just need to trust Him in all our ways, guys. I love you, and stay tuned for the next video.